Good day, students. Uh, welcome to uh, part seven of our mathematical induction series. Uh, in this book, we're going to be going over uh, the following example. So we're going to prove um, prove that the, the given statement, uh, which is that eight plus two times eight plus three times eight plus that 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 pattern continues plus eight uh, n equals 8n times n plus 1 over 2 for all uh, positive uh, integers n. Okay? All right, so before we start, uh, let's go ahead and uh, generate a plan, a plan of attack. So this is the plan right here. Okay? So part one, we're going to work with the, uh, show that the base case is true. Okay? Work with the base case. So basically show that S sub 1 is true. Okay? And then two, um, we're going to uh, make a statement known as the inductive hypothesis. Inductive hypothesis. And we're going to assume that that's true. Okay? That's what a hypothesis is. We're going to just uh, make an assumption that that's true. So basically, uh, we're going to assume that S so k is true, all right? And then we're going to, the, the part three, we're going to take the inductive step, which is uh, the whole idea behind it is that if we pick any arbitrary k and assume that's true, if we can show that the next step is also true, then the statement is true for any um, integer greater than or equal to one, okay? Because the foundation is true, and if we pick any arbitrary um, k, value or integer within the set um, of positive integers and we can show that that's true by assumption the next one is true then it's true for all um, positive integers okay so for the inductive step we're going to show that uh, s of k is true follows that the next step s of k plus one is also true so if we can show this then we're done all right so this is a plan of attack all right so uh, let's go ahead and do it so um we're going to start with proof part one when I sh part one is called the base case, okay? So in the base case, we want to show that S sub one is true, all right? Okay, so uh, what on earth is S sub one? Let me, let me rewrite this statement using um, S. So basically, S sub n is the statement, the original problem, which is eight plus two times eight plus three times eight plus da, 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 da. eight n equals eight plus n n plus one over two for let's just say n uh, in the set of natural numbers okay which is all positive uh all positive integers all right for that so this is the statement all right we don't know if it's true or false yet so I'm just rewriting the statement, SN, I'm assigning it this statement right here. So what is S1? S1 is simply what you get when you plug in 1 into this equation. Uh, so if I plug in 1, 1 is the initial case, uh, so it's going to be 8. If you look at 8N, when um, S1 is basically going to be N equals 1, so we have 8 times 1. The question is, is 8 times 1 equal to 8 times 1? times 1 plus 1 over 2. All right, what on earth is this? Well, if you look at the statement, what I did is I took the left side and I plugged in the, uh, the base case, which is 1, into the left side right here. I plugged in 1 for n. I got 8 times 1, okay? And then uh, on the right side, I plugged in 1 for this n and 1 for this n. So I had this, okay? So why are we starting with 1? Because the first positive integer is 1. Okay, and instead of all natural numbers, the first one is 1, right? So we have basically n is 1, 2, 3, da, 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 da. So the first one is 1, so that's why I'm starting with 1. Okay, all right. Now, let's see if this is a true statement. 8 times 1 is 8. And then here we have 8 times 2 over 2. These two two divides out. We have 8 equals 8. So our foundation is solid. The base case is true. All right, now, uh, step number two, or part two, 
it is the inductive hypothesis inductive hypothesis so in this case we're just going to assume that assume s sub k is true all right so in this case n is equal to k so we just pick a random uh integer value in the set of all positive integers and assume that that's true okay so that's what we're, we're about to do right here. So how do we write that? Uh, how do we write our inductive hypothesis? All we just simply do is we write the original statement replacing n with k. So this is a inductive hypothesis, uh, s of k. So s of k equals 8 plus 2 times 8 plus 3 times 8 plus, da, 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 plus 8k equals... 8k times k plus 1 over 2. Okay, so we're going to assume, I didn't write that down, assume that this statement is true for uh, k in, in the set of all natural numbers. Okay, natural numbers is all set of all positive integers, so they mean the same thing for it. Okay. So we're going to assume that this is true. So how did I come up with this statement again? All you do is you take the original problem and replace the n with a k, okay? k is like an arbitrary integer in the set of all positive integers. So let's assume that that's true. Now if I can show that the next step is true, an inductive step, then by mathematical induction I can conclude that the statement is true for all positive integers, okay? So for step 3, which is called the inductive step, Uh, what we're going to show, what we have to show, is that um, if we assume that the inductive step is true, that implies that the next step is also true. So that domino effect carries on forever. Okay. So S K. Uh, okay, I didn't write it. I didn't write it completely. Let me write it completely. So S of K is true. Follows that S sub K plus one is also true so that's what i want to show here all right okay so what i'm going to do is i'll start with the left side of my statement and i'm going to take the next step on the left side of my statement okay all right so my original statement was 8 plus 2 times 8 plus 3 times 8 plus dot 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 plus 8 this is the inductive step all right, that's not an index, that's a big K. Uh, so this is our inductive step, so I, um, the inductive hypothesis. So I need to take the next step. What is the next step? 8 times what? K plus 1. Okay? So I took the next step here. Now the deal is if I can show that this advancement by 1 also advances the right measure by 1, then I can conclude that the statement is true. Okay? All right, so um, this is the left side of the inductive hypothesis and then uh, with an additional step added on. All right, so what can we do here? What can we see this is equal to? Well, if you look at what we did here, um, the first portion of it, let's take this portion out. What is that equal to? If you look closely, you notice that based on our inductive hypothesis, this can be equal, set equal to 8k times k plus 1 over 2 because we already assume that, that this statement is true um, in our inductive hypothesis. So I have the right to make the following substitution. Using my inductive hypothesis, this entire component right here, um, I can I can write it as uh, 8k times k plus 1 over 2, okay, plus that additional step I have right here, plus 8k I have the parenthesis over here. Sorry about that. Uh, 8k plus 1. Okay? Because then the next step, all you do is you substitute k with k plus 1. So you have to have that parenthesis around that. All right. So, okay. All right. Now that we have this, um, let's see if I can arrive at a statement where I have the right side of my inductive hypothesis replaced with k plus 1 because I, sub I took the additional step. All right, so let's focus our attention on this piece right here and see if I can transform it into this with other k's replaced with k plus 1, right? Let me, let me write down what my end goal is, and then we see if we can make that happen. So this is what I want it to look like. You see how I have 8k times k plus 1 over 2 here? I want it to look like 8 times k plus 1 
times k plus 1 plus 1 over 2. If I can get this looking like this, if I can get this looking like that, then that's the goal because all the k's have been replaced with k plus 1, basically advancing the left side by 1, also advance the right side by 1. Okay? All right, so let's see if I can get make that happen here. All right, so what we're going to do first, uh, we're going to try and find the LCD. So I'll put this over 1. The LCD is 2, so I'll multiply this by 2, top and bottom. The right side, multiply by 2, and multiply that by 2. Okay? All right, so let's see what we have here. So we have um, 8K times K plus 1 plus 8 times 2 times k plus 1, and then this whole entire uh, expression divided by 2. Notice I'm not distributing because I want to make it easy to factor, okay? Divided by 2. All right, now let's factor out common terms. You notice that 8 and 8 is common on both sides, so I can factor that out. And then also k plus 1 is also common, so I can factor that out too. All right, so we're going to have 8 times k plus 1 factored out. And then we're going to be left with um, parentheses k plus 2. All right. And then that whole thing divided by 2. All right. We just, we're almost there. We just need to do some minor window dressing and then some minor cosmetic, I meant to say. And then uh, that'll be fine. Okay. So we have 8 times k plus 1 times, you see this k plus 1 right here? I can split this up into k plus 1, plus 1, okay, because 1 plus 1 is 2, like that, divided by, divided by 2, okay, again, divided by 2, and guess what, that's exactly what we want, okay, so we advance the left side by 1, and the right side also advanced by 1, all right, let me just write on the left side, so we have 8 plus 2 times 8 plus 3 times 8 plus da, 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 plus 8k plus 8 times k plus 1 equals, you see, this uh, is the same thing as what, what you get when you re replace the k on the left, on the right side of the inductive hypothesis with k plus 1. All right? So this statement is also true. So since uh, S of k is true, implies that S of k plus 1 is also true. Um, the original statement, the original statement is true, okay, by the principle of mathematical induction. So that basically completes our proof, all right? All right, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking up here. And you can click like if you like this presentation and uh, post a comment to let me know what you think about this clip. More clips coming from mapgoodserve.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.